What's going on, beautiful people? Welcome back to the channel. Hope you guys had a great and safe weekend. Today, we're going to go over what you should be doing in MLB The Show 24 to keep those stubs rolling in. Shout out to everybody that's been dropping the thumbs up on the video and commenting. Thanks to my video sponsor, U4GM. They are offering cheap MLB The Show 24 stubs with fast delivery. If you are interested, check the link in the description and check out more services use code fat for five percent off thanks for your support what you should be going after right now is gold exchanges and gaps on the marketplace for example this matt waldron the knuckle ball pitcher 130 stubs 52 stubs that you buying them for keep that going through your cycle that is a profit of about 60 to 80 stubs. You're going to do that in the meantime while you are creating your gold packs. As far as the roster update, it's a couple cards that's over that 25, 2600 mark. But this roster update with how players are performing, I'm going to be leaning more toward pitchers. It's a couple betters that are priced high. But over the last seven games, they have dropped way off. Players like Gunnar Henderson that was betting way over the 300s over the past seven games has dropped down to about a 206, 208. So spending 2,000 stubs to get 900 profit is not that smart because if he stays at an 84 overall at the roster update and you miss that opportunity to sell him off right now and you got him for quick sale value, it would just be a complete rinse. So... I am making gold packs, like I always tell you guys, cards that are priced 2000 2200 2500 2700 I'm trying to pull them out of the gold packs that I'm only spending 600 stubs to make. That's going to give me guaranteed profit. As far as the roster update, a lot of closing pitchers and relief pitchers is who I'm targeting for this roster update. Emmanuel Classe. Uh, homes on the Yankees. Those type of guys have went over the past 12 to 16 innings with giving up one run or less, a lot of strikeouts. So those 81, 80 overalls, 82 overalls is the guys I'm going to be buying for a low price and I'm going to be holding them for the next couple roster updates. The more expensive guys, the 84 overalls, outside of Sonny Gray, we have Verlander, who plays later on today, depending on how he plays, I don't want to take the risk in them players, but it is a couple people that I have an eye on that I'm going to put a video out. So right now, as you can see, I am getting these cards super fast. As soon as I put the order in, they are coming to me. I'm able to do 60 to 70 of them at a time, make a quick 5,000 to 7,000 stubs. It's really not much to do in the game currently until the new program comes out friday so finding gaps on the market 50 to 125 75 stub gap you're going to lose taxes 10 percent taking 12 off of that is over 60 some stubs you do that 150 200 times real fast especially if you have the app you're going to be having stubs coming in what you start with in the morning give yourself 30 minutes you're going to end with about 10,000 to 20,000 more stubs on top of that you have the gold packs the gold packs you are going to be spending 600 stubs to make and then you're going to be pulling out some of these 22 2300 stub cards if you enjoyed the video Make sure that you drop a thumbs up. Be smart with your stubs right now until the new program come out and more free stuff is in the game. 